Today, we are going to be turning a random player into a 99 overall. So we're just going to generate this, and whoever we get, we're going to turn them into a 99, 99 every single stat and simulate the rest of their career. And we'll stop in three, two, one. And we get Luca Garza of the Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, here he is, 72 overall, Luca Garza, currently on a two-way contract for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's go ahead and edit this man and turn everything about him to a 99. And here is our man that we are going to follow, 24-year-old Luca Garza, fully maxed out, 99 overall, 77 Hall of Fame badges. He is a literal demigod. All right, we're at the start of the 2023 season. We will be simulating until Luca Garza retires. Let's go ahead and get into season number one. Luca wins MVP, looking like the 99 demigod that Luca Garza is supposed to be. 37, 10, and 10, 1.7 steals for him. Wemby, rookie of the year. Camp Thomas, sixth man of the year. And Wemby, of course, DPOY, 1.2 steals, 3.3 blocks. The Minnesota Timberwolves are the 10 seed. Uh, not a great season. Luca Garza being on that two way contract, not good for him. Uh, he was sent down quite a bit because of that. I believe there's a limit on how many games you could play. But when he did play for Minnesota, he averaged 27, 12, 10, 2.3, 2.8. Legitimate MVP numbers. We just need him to get off this G League contract and then hopefully he'll be able to fully take off and we can see him start to win some MVPs and carry this team. Uh, not sure if he's gonna be on the roster for the playoffs, but we'll go ahead and sim through the play-in and we do get eliminated by the Sacramento Kings in the first play-in game. Luca, Western Conference Finals MVP, even better than his regular season stats. 36, 11, 11, 2.8, 1.7. Jalen Brunson, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, 25, 2 and 8. We got a Mavs Knicks Finals. Jalen Brunson looking for revenge on the Mavs, but that's not gonna happen because Luca is the greatest player in Sims of all time. 39, 9, 10, 1.5 for him. And the Mavericks sweep the Knicks in the finals. There is Luca Garza. He is no longer a G League two way player. And these Minnesota Timberwolves are absolutely insane. Luca Garza, Anthony Edwards, Cat, Rudy Gobert, Jaden McDaniels. They are an absolutely massive team. They still have Nas Reed along with Luca Garza, who's 6'10. And then Cat and Rudy Gobert, who are both seven feet tall. We saw his stats last year a 27 point triple double when he got games. The Timberwolves are going to be absolutely terrifying. I'm assuming Rudy Gobert is going to be gone after this season because of the Luca Garza money. They're not going to be able to pay him. Let's go ahead and get you to year number two and the first full season of Luca Garza's full potential. Luca Garza wins his first MVP of the Sim, averaging a 25 point triple double with 13 rebounds and 10 and a half assists. Also picks up two and a half steals and blocks. And unsurprisingly, it goes 50, 40, 90. Rookie of the year, Carlton Purdue of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think that's even more terrifying that this team added a 99 and also added the rookie of the year. Luka Garza, of course, also wins DPOI. Luka Doncic, clutch player of the year. And Chris Finch, coach of the year as the Wolves go 70 and 12. We are the one seed and it's not even close. Out of the plane in the West, Memphis in Denver in the East, Philly and Toronto. Let's get these playoffs underway. Luka Garza's first playoff appearance against the Memphis Grizzlies. Let's sim one game as we win. Let's view that box score. Luka Garza's first playoff game is a 29 point triple double with two steals, four blocks on 12 for 18 from the field. And unsurprisingly, we sweep our way through the first round against the Memphis Grizzlies. We face off now against the four-seeded Golden State Warriors, led, of course, by Steph Curry. As we take the first two games, and we have swept our way into the conference finals. Let's take a look back, see if we can find Luka's best game from this series. Ant had 47 as Garza goes for a tw another 28-point triple-double. Five steals. Also, Vucevic and found This is the biggest team of all time. So it looks like we got rid of Rudy Gobert and we added Jonas Valanciunas and Nikola Vucevic. We have so many centers on this roster because we still have Nas Reed. So we have one, two, three, four, five centers on the roster getting 20 minutes a game. All right, here we go. Time for the conference finals against the Oklahoma City Thunder. They are always insane in Sims as we actually split the first two games to take our first loss of the playoffs and we do it at home to OKC, but we do get the next two back and we go up 3-1 and we are through to the finals. Luca Garza, Western Conference Finals MVP, 22-18-11, 2.8-3.2. Unbelievable. And it is a Timberwolves Pistons Finals. The eight-seeded Philadelphia 76ers made it all the way to the conference finals only to get beat by Detroit, who was the worst team of all time the season before. Wolves Pistons Finals. We take the first two, but the Pistons take game three. 
and we are officially one win away. We're going to hop into SimCast so we can go see Luca win this ring. Wolves are up two in game five at home. Pistons get into Marcus Sasser, driving in on Valanciunas, gets the layup, and it is no good. Luca Garza with the rebound. Luca gives it up to Valanciunas, gives it to our rookie of the year, Purdue. He gives it into Luca. Luca. Layup, and it is good. The Wolves go up four with 19 seconds to go. Stewart to inbound. They're going to need a quick shot here. They get it into Cade. Cade pulls for three. No good. Luka gets the rebound. They will foul, but that will do it. MVP chance for Luka Garza as he sinks both free throws. No chance for the Pistons now. They're going to quick three up for Thompson. No good. Luka with another rebound. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are NBA champions led by Luka Garza. There we go, Ant picks up the Larry OB. Anthony Edwards goes for 36, seven and three, four steals and a block, but our guy Luka Garza, 29, 12, six assists. Of course, led by our Finals MVP and regular season MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, the greatest player in the NBA right now, Luka Garza, 25, 12 and 10, 1.6, 1.6. We are only two seasons into this sim, and he has already gotten a championship, an MVP, and a DPOY. Let's see what he can do in year number three. Here is the squad heading into year number three. We did lose a few people, of course, because we did make some trades at the trade deadline, but that core is still here. Luca Garza, Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, all of them still here for at least two more years. I'm guessing Luca might leave after the end of this two-year deal. Go get an absolutely massive contract somewhere else. We still have Vucevic, Jaden McDaniels, Carlton Purdue, our rookie of the year from last year. And then that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into year number three of the sim. Luca Garza goes back to back. An even better season this time around. 29, 15, and 10. Two steals, two and a half blocks per game. And he also wins DPOI. And his coach wins coach of the year. Dominance once again for Luka Garza and the Minnesota Timberwolves. We are the one seed in the Western Conference out of the plane in the West, Portland and Utah in the East, Orlando and Miami. Play Portland in the first round. We should be able to just sim right on past this. And I was right. We absolutely destroy the Portland Trailblazers in round one, leaving us to face off against the San Antonio Spurs led by Victor Wembenyama in the second round as we quickly go up 2-0. 3-0 and it is just dominance once again we only lost two games in the playoffs last year and they came in the conference finals and the finals we face off against mvp of the first season luka Doncic, who also won clutch player of the year i believe averaging a 35 10 and 10. it's going to be a battle between the lukas in the conference finals as they do take one game and we split the first two and we split the first four two and two going to game five we've got our closest series yet Luka Doncic giving it his all, 42, 12, and 11. But here comes game five. Gotta have it at home, and we do. We are one win away from the finals in back-to-back -back years, and we go to game seven. Luka is unbelievable. 53, 10, and 6 for Luka Doncic to prevent us from going back to the finals. Luka Garza, 28, 11, and 11. Here we go, game seven. The Mavericks are up by three with the ball, 17 seconds to go. They get it into Luka once again. This time we foul him and he is going to the line. The Mavericks are just 15 seconds away from knocking us off and going back to the finals. Luka hits both as we take a timeout. He gets it into Ant. Ant driving in, cutting it back. Kicks out to McDaniels for three. No good. And the Mavs are going to beat us. Get up for Purdue for three. We hit the meaningless three with .4 to go. And we can't foul in time. Luka Doncic gets the best of Luka Garza. The two best players in the NBA. Goes to seven games in the conference finals. But Luka Doncic is headed back to the finals. Anthony Edwards, 31-4-4. Four four. Luka Garza, 20-11-6. Carlton Purdue with a great performance, but none of it can top Luka Doncic, 43, six and 13. We got a Mavs Heat Finals and the Mavericks take it, led by Luka Doncic, 39, nine and a half, 14 assists. Unbelievable. Here's the squad for year number four, going for revenge. It is Luka Garza's last year on his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. We are expecting him to leave after this due to the sheer amount of money that the Wolves have in Ant and Carl Anthony Towns. Very similar squad to last year. Actually, probably a little bit worse, but we'll see what we could do in year number four. Luca Garza, three straight MVPs, 28, 15, 
and 10 for him, 2.2 steals, 2.5 blocks. And of course, he also wins DPOY. And once again, Chris Finch is coach of the year as we are the number one seed in the Western Conference for the third consecutive year out of the play-in in in the West, Houston and Sacramento in the East, Atlanta and Brooklyn. Quickly get through the first round here because we shouldn't have any troubles with the Houston Rockets, and we don't. We sweep them to face off now against the five-seeded Memphis Grizzlies. They actually take game one from us. We go up to one, and we are back into the conference finals, this time to face off against the two-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder, who we played in our first finals run. Let's see if we get a repeat here in year number four as they take game one. And we're down 3-0. Let's see what happens as we get swept. The Thunder sweep us into the finals. We only lose 15 games in the regular season, then we lose four straight the Oklahoma City Thunder. Shea, Western Conference Finals MVP, 32, 8, and 11. Kid Cunningham, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, 28, 4, and 6. Pistons get a second shot at the finals. Thunder get their first shot at the finals of the Sim. And the Thunder take it, of course, led by Shea, 29, 6, and 9, 2.4 steals, and a block per game. And only one championship for the three-time MVP, Luka Garza, in his tenure in Minnesota, let's see if he re-signs. Luka Garza actually stays with the Minnesota Timberwolves. I was not expecting this. Cat does only have one more year on his deal, but I mean, Luka and Ant are going to be here for at least the next two years, a 99 and a 95 overall, age 28, age 26 on the same team. It really does not get better than that. Let's see if we can get back to our winning ways and win the finals in year number five. Luka Garza, four straight MVPs. He just continues to get better. 30 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists, 2.5, 2.5. And of course, he also wins DPOY. Our coach of the year, Chris Finch, once again. But for the last two years, that has not meant anything. Out of the plane in the West, Houston and New Orleans in the East, Miami and Toronto. Let's get through this first round nice and quick. Why are we actually struggling in the playoffs against the 8C2-2? We take game five. Okay, we do end up making it through. It was a little bit ugly, but we are through to face off against the OKC Thunder. We are looking for revenge for last year when they swept us in the conference finals. They take game one. They take game two. And they're about to sweep us again. We get swept by the Oklahoma City Thunder back-to-back -back years. Western Conference Finals MVP, Shea. Eastern Conference Finals MVP, Donovan Mitchell. Cavs Thunder Finals, and it is the Cavs who win in seven games. Donovan Mitchell goes for 35 and 4 to win his first ever Finals and Finals MVP. OKC, doesn't matter what seed they are in the regular season, they will beat you in the playoffs. Let's go on to year number six. Here is your squad for year number six. We did retain Carl Anthony Towns. Up next is Ant. The year after that, it'll be Luca, and the year after that, it will be Cat. Got a lot of guys on expiring deals coming up, but we still have a very good squad. Our best squad in the last couple years, as we now no longer have any 74s, 75s at the back end of our bench. We now have six 80 plus overalls, including two 94 pluses and an 89. We'll see. We've had a lot of success in the regular season, but let's see if this can be the year we get it done in the playoffs like we did in year number two. Luca Garza, five consecutive MVPs, 28, 15, 10, 2.43 blocks a game for him. And of course he wins DPOY. However, the Wolves did not get coach of the year. That went to Mark Dagno because the Oklahoma City Thunder are the one seed and the Wolves are actually the three seed out of the plane in the West, New Orleans and Portland in the East, Charlotte and New York. We face off against the six seeded San Antonio Spurs in round one. Don't get it twisted. We did not have a bad season at all. I believe we only lost 22 games in the regular season, but the Mavs and Thunder are unreal in Sims as we quickly go up 2-0 against the San Antonio Spurs and it is not a sweep. It is a five game series that we dominate. We win in five and we face off against the two seeded Dallas Mavericks who beat us in seven games in the conference finals just a few years ago. It is Luka versus Luka once again. We split the first two. They go up 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, and we get eliminated in game six. We just cannot get over the hump, even with Luka Garza. I mean, this is 390 overalls on the exact same team, and we just can't get it done. Shea goes back-to-back -back Western Conference Finals MVPs, 35, 5, and 9. Donovan Mitchell, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, 38, 4, and 9. Holy shit. Thunder Cavs Finals for the second straight year, and this time the Thunder take it. Led, of course, by Shea Gilgis Alexander, 33, 7, and 13, 2.8 steals. And in six seasons, 
the Minnesota Timberwolves have won just one championship, despite them being led by five-time MVP Luka Garza. Here's a squad for the sixth season of the Sim. Luka Garza is now 30 years old, and on the last year of his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves, we will see if he leaves after this year. We got the same core of Purdue, Carlisle, Jaden McDaniels, Cat, Ant, and Luka Garza with then a couple guys at the end of the bench. Let's get right into year number six. Luka Garza goes six straight MVPs, 26, 14, and nine to 2.5. Once again, he is DPOI as well. I just saw this dude's name as I scrolled by. What in the world is that? And Chris Finch is back to the coach of the year as the Minnesota Timberwolves are back to the number one seed in the Western Conference. Out of the plane in the West, Utah and New Orleans in the East, Milwaukee and Indiana. Much better season than we've had the last few as we dominate round one against the Utah Jazz, sweep our way through. There's actually no OKC for us to worry about as they just lost to the New Orleans Pelicans who are the seven seed. If we get through Golden State, it's probably going to be a rematch against those Dallas Mavericks once again as we do quickly go up 2-0 against the Warriors and we sweep our way back into the conference finals where we will match up once again with the other Luka. 2-2, Dallas wins back-to-back -back games, and we are once again at a crucial game five against the Mavericks, and we take it, and we go to game seven once again. Another game seven in the conference finals against the Mavs. 47 seconds to go. We are up to with the ball. Driving in, he's got the whole side of the court to himself. Step back mid-range, and he misses. Luka with the rebound. They have a chance to tie or take the lead. Luka driving in on Ant, misses the layup, and Ant gets the rebound, and he is fouled. Luka misses the layup against Ant on the fast break. First free throw is up and good. We're up by three, 25 seconds to go. Need this free throw. Second free throw. Shot is up, and it is good. Christian Brown to inbound. Gets it into Luka. Luka kicks out to Christian Brown for two, and it's no good. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to head back to the finals. Garza hits them both. 15 seconds on the clock. They need a miracle to win now. Giddy sprints up the court, gives it to Sohan, who takes the three. No good. Luca Garza with the rebound. Off to Ant. And we are headed back to the finals. Anthony Edwards, 30 points for him. Luca Garza, a 28 point, 15 rebound, 13 assist, triple double cat goes for 21 points and three threes and we are in the finals facing off against the cleveland cavaliers who are here for their third straight year they have won one and lost one let's get game one underway and we take it and it's 2-0 3-0 and we sweep our way to our second finals of the sim for luca garza who wins another finals mvp 28 11 and 10 2.8 steals three blocks a game and we get that second ring for Luca Garza but the question immediately shifts to will he be back here next season Luca Garza stays with the Minnesota Timberwolves on a four-year 233 million dollar deal and still here for three years and Cat now on the last year of his deal he's now 34 years old not sure how much longer he has but let's go get right into year number seven Luka Garza, stats get worse, doesn't matter. Another MVP for him and another Defensive Player of the Year. Two steals, two blocks. The OKC Thunder are the number one seed in the Western Conference. We are right behind them at the two seed. Out of the plane in the West, San Antonio and Sacramento in the East, Orlando and Miami. We face off against those seven-seeded Sacramento Kings in round number one. As we split the first four games, we go up 2-0, but then Sacramento comes back and wins two straight. We take game five, though, and we are through. It was a little bit nervy as the Oklahoma City Thunder lose to the eight-seeded San Antonio Spurs. This makes a path for us to make the finals now. I did not think we were going to be able to get through OKC, but if we get through New Orleans, it's either Portland or San Antonio in those conference finals. As we take game one, 2-1 lead, 3-1 lead, and we go to game seven. Oh, God. A 3-1 lead is quickly turned to 3-3. Three, three. Let's go ahead and hop into SimCast. As we pull away at the end, Carlisle goes for 29 and leads the team in assists. Luca Garza, 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 9 assists. Ant, 22 points. Cat, 20 
three points. A little bit more nerve wracking than I would have liked, but we do get it done and we face off against the eight seeded San Antonio Spurs in the conference finals. We take game one. 3L, and we are back in the finals for the second straight year, led by our guy, the demigod, Luca Garza. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists, 1.5 steals, 2.5 blocks. Easter Conference Finals MVP, Evan Mobley, as the Cavs make their fourth straight finals. So far, they are 1 and 2. Can we go back to back against them as they take game 1? We take game 2. We take game 3. 2-2. Two, two. Need this game 5 on the road, and we take it. One went away from the finals yet again, and we go to game seven. Game seven against the Cavs in the NBA finals. We are up to with the ball. Looks like Luca Garza has fouled out. Ant with the ball, 42 seconds on the clock. A bucket here would almost clinch it as it's into Drew, and he gets the dunk. Mitchell bringing the ball up the court. They need a quick bucket. Doesn't have to be a three, but they need to get points on the board. Gives it into Raja, goes up for the and gets it to go. Two-point game. They're going to have to foul here. We get it into Carlisle, and he is fouled. I have no idea what his free throw is. He is a point guard, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty decent here. As he heads to the line, first one is up, and it is no good. He misses the first free throw. That keeps the Cavs in the game. Second free throw is up. That one is good. Three-point game, Cavs timeout. Finals on the line. The Cavs need a three. 20 seconds to go. Cavs need a bucket with the finals on the line. It's into Evan Mobley. Off to Jeffries. Back to Mobley. Ball is now in Donovan Mitchell's hands. To Jeffries for three. No good. Raja on the rebound. Kicks out. Mobley. Pump fakes. Takes the three. No good. Raja with another rebound. It's out. Jeffries for three. No good. The Cavs miss three threes. And the Wolves are back on top for back-to-back -back years. Oh my God. Luca on the bench after he fouled out. Julius Randle also on the squad. What is this? 2K. 2K fix this. 2K fix this. What is this? Why Why is DeAndre Hunter giving the... Why is he up here with us? Why is he winning the finals MVP? Why, why is DeAndre Hunter winning the... What am I watching? And we win in seven games led by our guy, Luca Garza. 21 points, 14 rebounds, seven and a half assists, 1.3 steals, 2.6 blocks. And in seven years, we now have three titles and six MVPs for Luca Garza. Year number eight is upon us, and somehow we just keep getting the guys to re-sign. Cat is here for three more years. Luca Garza up to 32 years of age. The squad did get worse in the offseason. We have one of our worst teams in years, just based on the bench. But we will always be in the hunt with these three guys at the top. Let's get year number eight underway. Luca Garza, once again, MVP 20. 4, 12, and 8, and he also is Defensive Player of the Year. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, though, a really bad season. We are in the play-in. We go from two straight finals all the way to the 8 seed being the play-in. We face off against the 7 seeded San Antonio Spurs in the first game, and we do make it through. Out of the play-in in the West, San Antonio, and us in the East, Cleveland, and Detroit. We face off against the two seeded Dallas Mavericks. We just cannot avoid the Luka versus Luka matchup as we take game one, take game two, take game three, and we sweep. What in the world? We just dominate against Luka, against the two-seeded Dallas Mavericks, and we are comfortably through to the second round. We had the eighth best record in the West. We now face off against the six-seeded Portland Trailblazers. We split the first two games. They take game three. 2-2, two -two. need this game five, and they take it. Gotta have it, season on the line here, and the Portland Trailblazers knock us off. The first team to beat us in two years, Shea Western Conference Finals MVP and Nelson Crawford, Easter Conference Finals MVP for the Bulls who make their first finals appearance of the Sim. Thunder versus Bulls finals, and the Thunder easily take it, led by Shea who goes insane. 36, six and seven, three steals a game for Shea. I believe their third or fourth ring of the Sim, and we move on to year number nine. And here is the squad and on his last year of his deal. Luca, of course, still a 99 overall at the age of 33 and a 95. And Cat finally takes his first hit of regression down to an 88 overall. Once again, the same core we have had for years. Let's get right into the ninth season. Luca Garza adds another regular season MVP to the resume along with another DPOY. Just 
as we expected. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, though, not a great season. We are the sixth seed out of the plan in the West, LA and LA. In the East, Washington and Indiana. We face off against the three-seeded Sacramento Kings in round number one. We split the first two games, go up 2-1, 2-2. We take game five, and we are through to round number two. I don't think we have lost in the first round this entire sim as we face off against the seven-seeded Los Angeles Lakers in round number two. We split the first two once again. They go up 2-1, 2-2. They take game five. Gotta have it here in game six, and we do not. Western Conference Finals MVP is Shea once again, and the Eastern Conference Finals MVP is Raja for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I believe for the third time, we have a Cavs Thunder Finals. I think they've only won one finals out of the five that they've been in so far, and it only gets worse. Shea, 35, 4, and 8, 3.8 steals for another ring and another finals MVP. Unbelievable. Here we are in year number 10, and we have officially lost our first piece of the big three. Carl Anthony Towns has left. It is now just Ant and Luca Garza to be the heroes. Luca Garza on his last year of his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's see what he can do in year number 10. For the first time since year number one, someone else has won MVP. It is Ja Morant, 28, 6, and 9 for him. Wemby also wins DPOY 1.7, 2.5. So a tough year there for Luca Garza, but of course, he's a 9 and overall. So he still is, of course, all NBA first team. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a pretty good season. We are once again the two seed in the Western Conference out of the plane in the West, Denver and Portland in the East, Atlanta and Brooklyn. Facing off against Portland in round number one. We split the first two games. They take game three, and they're up 3-1. And just like that, we get eliminated by Portland, I believe, again. I think they eliminated us last year, too. Portland kind of has our number as the MVP John Morant wins Western Conference Finals MVP. 30.7 rebounds, 12 assists, and Eastern Conference Finals MVP for the Wizards is Anderson Mason. Wizards, Grizzlies, Finals. And the Wizards win it. They knock off MVP John Morant, who still win Finals MVP despite losing. 35.6 rebounds, 7 assists, one steal and a block per game. Still wins finals MSP despite losing in five games. And we move on to year 11. Luca Garza stays with the Timberwolves and takes his first regression of his career on a three year deal now with the Minnesota Timberwolves. A 97 overall. Ant still here for three years. I'm assuming this will be the final three years of their career together. Ant could maybe still go, but I doubt it for Luca. Squad doesn't look amazing, but it looks good enough to be a high seed just like we were last year. Let's get into year number 11. Victor Wembenyama wins his first MVP of the sim. And just like Luca Garza, he also wins DPOY in the same year. For the first time, Luca Garza is officially not a first-team All-NBA player. He is only a second-team All-NBA player. For the Timberwolves, it was a uh, it was not a great season. We are the eighth seed once again in the plan. Last time we were here, though, I believe we either won the finals or made it to the conference finals. We had a good run. Let's see what we can do this time, though. As we lose to the Lakers the first game of the plan, we now face off against the Phoenix Suns to keep our playoff and championship hopes alive, and we get eliminated. We lose both the games. We had two chances to make it in. We lose both of them. Victor Wembanyama, Western Conference Finals MVP. Tyrese Halliburton, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. First finals appearances for both these teams in the sim. And it is the Pacers, led, of course, by Tyrese Halliburton, who win it all. Finals MVP, 23-3-10, 2.6 steals a game. And we move on to year number 12. Luka Garza officially drops out of the number one spot on the team. It is now Anthony Edwards. They're both 95 overalls, but 2K says Ant is better. Luka Garza, a 36-year-old, like we said, we think potentially only two years left in his career. Year, two years left on the deal. Let's get right into year number 12. Anthony Cartwright, our first AI generated player, wins MVP 26 10 and 4 for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Luca Garza is back. He wins the Defensive Player of the Year. As you can see, the stats are going down 17 and a half, 9, 8, 1 8 steals, 1 9 blocks. A good season for him at his age. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are the 9 seed. We have really struggled now that Luca Garza has started to regress. I'm surprised he stayed in Minnesota for pretty much his whole career here. Season on the line against the Lakers, and we are eliminated once again. Shea, Western Conference Finals MVP, Anders en Enquist, uh, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, averaging 30 points per game for the Brooklyn Nets. Thunder Nets Finals. And of course, it's the Thunder. They're literally insane in every sim. Due to the amount of draft picks they have, they are simply un. Beatable. Shea, another finals MVP, 25, 4, 
10 assists. Here we are in year number 13, and for the first time, we could be looking at the end. We'll see if he stays with the Timberwolves, if he goes to a different team at the end of the season. He is still a 92 overall, but everything is getting a whole lot worse. Team's not great. Ant's regressing. He is regressing. Let's get right into the potential final season. Fisher, MVP for the Charlotte Hornets, 25, 10, and 5. One steal and one block per game. Victor Weminyama, DPOY for the LA Clippers. The first time I've ever seen him not on the Spurs in any sim I have done. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, we missed the playoffs. It was really, really a bad season for us. Out of the play in the West, Sacramento and Dallas in the East, Chicago and Miami. This could be it for Luka. This could be the last season. Could be the last finals. Let's see who gets there. Jess Mitchell and the Lakers will face off against Benjamin McLeod and the Indiana Pacers. Pacers-Lakers finals, and it is the Pacers who win their second championship of the sim, led by Ben McLeod. 26-6-8, steal, and a block per game. Now for the moment of truth. I do not see him on the list. I do not see him on the list. He is still with the Minnesota Timberwolves for two more years. The 38-year-old Luca Garza. Let's go ahead and hop right into the next season. Julio Fisher goes back-to-back -back MVPs, and Wemby goes back-to-back -back DPOYs. And the Wolves are back in the play-in as the seventh seed. Let's get right to it as we lose to the Utah Jazz leaving us one game away from either being in the playoffs or being out. We face off against the LA Clippers led by DPOY Victor Wembanyama, and we are eliminated. We go 0-2 once again. Just, just unreal the last few seasons. Scoot Henderson, Western Conference Finals MVP. Julio Fisher, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Blazers, Hornets, Finals. And it is the Hornets who win in six games, led, of course, by the MVP, Julio Fisher. 27-9-4 for him. And here's the squad for Luka Garza's age 39 season. One year left on his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He will turn 40 this year. Squad is actually getting a little bit better. Could have a chance here in his final season. Let's get right into it. Julio Fisher, another MVP for him. And Victor Ramanyama, another DPOY this time for the New York Knicks. Your Minnesota Timberwolves are the 10 seed. Can we make one last run in the playoffs? No, we cannot. We are limited in the plan for, I believe, the fourth consecutive year. Western Conference Finals MVP Anderson Turner, Eastern Conference Finals MVP Julio Fisher, a rematch. Hornets versus Blazers, and the Blazers sweep their way to the finals, led by Anderson Turner, 29-11-5, 2.3, and a block per game. Luca Garza has officially retired from the NBA. His best years in the mid-2020s. Look at some of these seasons, 30-16, and 28-14, 29-15. Three straight seasons of averaging a triple-double. It fell off at the end, but he did get himself quite a few accolades along the way. NBA champion three time in 25, 30, and 31. Nine time MVP, three time finals MVP. All star 14 times, 11 time first team all NBA, and also a 10 time defensive player of the year. I know this one was a long one, so if you did make it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. It is very, very helpful for the channel. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those bells so you can be one of the first people to see the new videos. If you want to see the raw and uncut content, be sure to check out my Twitch, wordyboss 30 y T. And if you want to see more real basketball opinions and news, check out my TikTok, WordyBoss30. I'll put both up on the screen right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you made it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.